Lamed He verbs are verbs where the third root letter in the dic dictionary form is a He. But under certain circumstances, we can see that they're actually Lamed Yod verbs. Here, we'll use the word Bana from Beit, Nun, He to build. And the word Baniti is a Ka perfect 1CS. Now, whenever we have a perfect verb which brings a suffix onto the end of a Lamed He that begins with a consonant, in this case Taf, we have the T that goes on the end. What happens is the Yod reappears. It was apparently there, but it normally just isn't seen at all. But when the consonant uh, begins a suffix is brought onto the root. The yod reappears and holds the heavy consonant away from the main part of the root. So, vaniti. That's pretty typical. However, with a kal perfect 3cp, this suffix begins with a vowel. And so, in that case, it just displaces the hay. In either case, Whenever there's competition for the ending of a lamed he verb, the he is going to get pushed out of the way because it's one of the Jonah letters. I'd like to compare a few strong verb forms to ka lamed he verb forms to just confirm some of these differences. And there are differences in nearly every case. What's pretty close is when we look at katal, and gala, he revealed or uncovered, pretty much the same. The only difference is the second theme vowel is lengthened to a comets, and that's because of the nature of the he. Uh, these are actually, again, lamed yod verbs. The he is not really there. It's just marking the vowel, so the vowel lengthens. Or, in the case of the imperfect, we can compare yiktol to Yigla, he will reveal or uncover. And in this case, the theme vowel of, this, uh, uh, of the middle root letter is converted to a uh, sigol. So we still have all of the main letters that we would expect, the consonants, gimel, lamed, he, but there's a change in the vowel. Now, the perfect verbs, we've already looked at this, but here's again, to compare it to the strong verb, we can see that when we have a suffix that begins with a consonant, that the yod reappears in the lamed position. So we have galita, you have uncovered, and galiti, I have uncovered. So in those cases, then, the he is pushed out of the way that the yod reappears and holds the suffix just off of the three root letters. However, in the case of a suffix that begins with a, a vowel, galu, uh, that is, um, they revealed, the he is just pushed out of the way. So the he is there in some cases, However, uh, in, those, in the cases where the he is still there, we have a change in the vowel, and whenever there's a competition for the suffix position, the he is pushed out of the way, whether by um, the reappearance of the yod with a consonant, or by uh, the just being pushed out of the way altogether by a vowel. Uh, and one last thing to consider when we look at vaiktol, and he killed, that is the Kal Vav consecutive imperfect 3MS, and we compare it to Vaigel, and he revealed, or and he uncovered. Notice the He just drops out altogether in this circumstance, and this is very characteristic of what we'll find with the Vav consecutive imperfects for Lamed He verbs. Here's several examples of Lamed He verbs to get a sense of the fact that in the Vav 
consecutive imperfect form. No matter what the stem is, we have the dropping off of the hay. And so we just need to be prepared for that. So in the case of Bana, we have Vaiven, and he built. Or in the case of Haya, we have Vayahi, and it was. Or in the case of Asa, we have Vayas, and he did, or and he made. Now the PL is going to have exactly the same kind of construction, and it we can see that it's a PL. It has the shva under the prefix pronoun, just as we would expect. So the word uh, for command, tsare, vav, he, and in this case the vav is always going to have a consonantal character. We have vayitzav, and he commanded. Very characteristic of the PL in the vav consecutive imperfect lamed he verbs. Or, uh, here's a couple of other examples that are uh, a little bit more tricky. Vayar, very common word, um, and he saw. However, if it's in the hifiel, vayar, uh, we have to make a decision. Now, the vast majority of the time, it's going to be in the kal. However, it can be. Um, occasionally in the hifiel, and we just have to take our time with this. And the sense there is any cause to see, or and he showed. Now, we can see that in the case of the nifal, a couple of changes have taken place. The he has come off of ra'a, and because it's a nifal, the vowel has been lengthened to a tsere, and because the middle root letter is an aleph, uh, it is quiesced, and this theme letter has become a uh, comment. So in this case, we have vayir a, uh, a little bit challenging, but we can see that it's the nifal of ra'a. Psalm 137, 1. Al nacharot bavel, sham yashavnu gam Bachinu, bazachrenu et zion. The famous song of exile begins upon the rivers of Babylon. There we sat, even or also we wept when we remembered Zion. Bachinu comes from Beit Kaf He Bacha to weep. And here we have a case of a Kal perfect 1CP. And again, because the suffix begins with a consonant, then the Yod reappears and holds the suffix away from the root letters. And we can compare it in this case to uh, Yashavnu with the root letters Yod, Shin, Beit. And so it's just a little bit different because there wasn't a He that was pushed out of the way for a Yod. And we can um, just see a nice comparison here between these two call perfect 1 CPs. Genesis 12.20 Vaitsav alav par o anashim. Vaya shalachu oto vaet ishto vaet kol ashur lo. And, subject is Pharaoh, and Pharaoh commanded, I suppose you would say his men, commanded the men, concerning him. And they sent him and his wife, and all which was his, or all that belonged to him. The verse begins, Vaitsav, with the verb Tsare, Vav, He, Alamed He. Now we can see that under the prefix pronoun, we have a Shva, 
So this tells us this is a PL. And in this case, it's a VAV consecutive imperfect. And we can see by the yod that it's a 3MS. And the subject's actually spelled out again, Pharaoh. And he commanded. So this is very typical of what we're going to find with VAV consecutive imperfects with a lamed he verb. That is, the he just drops off and we have this apocopated or short form throughout the biblical narratives for lamed he verbs.